Yo, what is up, everybody? It's Jay the Gear, and welcome back to another anime related reaction video. Here today, we got yet another SWAT Kage video. It seemed like you guys really enjoy it. I really enjoy his content as well. Like I said, he's arguably the most knowledgeable Naruto expert in all of YouTube. So you had to bring another one, man. This one's more of a fun one. Um, top five Naruto Jutsu. Um, you know, we all have our lists. I'm very interested to see what his list is of top five Naruto Jutsu. There's so many. To, to list but um before i begin if you enjoyed the content please think about showing some love and love is greatly appreciated you know hit that like button turn on bell notifications stay up to date with those truly and if you're new and you enjoy you know you gotta hit that sub button man please you know to become part of the family because once you do you're part of it forever but let's not waste any more time screen let's see what he has to say all right look since there are about give or take uh <laughs> Jutsu spread across facts, the Naruto facts. manga, anime, games, movies, and so on. I'm gonna kindly ask you to do me a favor and keep in mind that this was a pretty difficult list for me to make, and I considering agree. I'm Makes narrowing sense. my choices down from an approximate estimate of 486 octillion jutsu to five, you and I probably aren't gonna see eye to eye on this one, buddy. Fair yeah, point, fair uh, point. Fuck you, dude. What do you mean? You don't think, uh, Back controlling ultrasonic mind waves is the best you to <laughs> dislike, unsubscribe, like if you agree. On that note, I don't really think I need to clarify this, but this list is not ranking the top five strongest jutsu in the series. Rather, it's a list cataloging my personal favorites. So, okay. if we're good on that, everybody understands. Let's just get right into the list. Let's see. A Trigram 64 This palms. is without a doubt, no contest, the coolest Taijutsu ability in the entire series. While the Primary Lotus, Reverse Lotus, Hirudora, Asaku Jaku, Night Guy, and all of the other abilities used by Guy and Rock Lee are pretty cool. They don't even come close to having the cool factor that this Jutsu does. Nothing about the mechanics of the A Trigram 64 Palms ended up landing it on this list. I put it here solely because it looks really, really cool. I think the reason I like it, it so much is a combination of the progressive increase in strikes, the sheer overwhelming speed of the combination of attacks, and even the way the user yells out how many chakra points have been stricken each time they progress to the technique's next stage. I guess this spot should go to the 128 palms, but I think the 64 palms is a lot more iconic. And the scene where it was first used is just way cooler if you're watching the series for the first time than the scene where the 128 palms made its debut. Now I know I said the mechanics didn't really have anything to do with this being placed on the list, but the fact that it completely shuts down somebody's chakra network and in most cases dope, keeps them dope. from even being able to stand up is pretty awesome. I guess the only thing that holds this jutsu back is the fact that it is completely ineffective. Neji's never really shut anybody down in a fight with this before. Like even when he landed all 64 strikes on Naruto, oh no, nope, didn't do anything. Guess what? Naruto's the Jinchuriki of the strongest tailed beast ever. Or at least yeah. one half of That's it tough luck, made. man. Sucks to be you, I know Neji, but come on, don't, you, you don't have time to fret about it. You gotta prepare yourself you're about to get one shot by an uppercut to the face before i continue um i kind of want to speak on eight trigam 64 palms i really like it too but i wouldn't say it's my favorite taiju too um i think night guys man that shit was when he when he did that shit to Madara with the with the with the eighth gate opening that was my favorite man it's pure power pure speed beauty it was a beauty to, to behold um that's my favorite but I really like this one. Like you said, you sh he shut you basically shut down someone's chakra network. Um, you know, you hit all the points, you know, all the critical points, and you shut down their chakra. Um, that's pretty fucking dope. I mean, that's pretty dope. I like Neji a lot. He's one of my favorite characters. But that, I just wanted to say that it's not my favorite, but it's one. It's up there for me. But let's continue. I don't really think I need to explain myself oh, here. Chibaku Tensei is awesome. You clap your hands together and make a big fucking moon in the sky. What's not to like about it? Nope. Now, it was really cool when Pain used it, at least in the manga anyway, not in the anime. That episode was animated really, really badly. <laughs> And Madara's use of it was pretty eh, cool as well. He created a whole bunch of planetoids it. and dropped them on top of Naruto and Sasuke all at once. But the coolest use of this jutsu by far is when Sasuke used it to capture all nine tailed beasts with a single clap of his hands. Additionally, after that, he went on to summon all of the Chibaku Tensei satellites he created to the final valley where he was fighting Naruto so that he could use the Rinnegan to absorb the chakra of all of the tailed beasts contained inside and that fire an dope. Indra's arrow strong enough to overpower two tailed beast ball rocks 
Rasen Shuriken from Naruto. It also made his Susano look like this. I mean, it was just one of the coolest things anybody ever did in the whole manga. Hell this yeah. Jutsu is responsible for some of the greatest eye candy this series has to offer. Like this shot of Pain staring down the Nine Tails as oh, it's attempting to break free Brilliant. of the Shibaku Tensei. This moment so here where Naruto and Sasuke used it to seal Kaguya, and the scene I just mentioned where Sasuke used it to capture Nine Tailed Beasts and then fight. Yeah, that was crazy, Arrow. man. Quick thoughts on that one. I'm not. I, I I know you guys don't like when I stop it, but um, that was awesome when Sasuke used it, man. I mean, he had all the tailed beasts giving him chakra with his already, Sus you know, damn near perfect Susano. I mean, what the hell, man? That's brilliant. Um, it's so dope, man. I, I loved it. Uh, I think Madara used it when he was dropping meteors in the fucking Sh uh, Shinobi Alliance. That was dope, also. Um, uh, but yeah, I like that one a lot. I forgot about that one actually. Alright, so unlike the oh, last yeah. two, this Flying one's Raijin. not exactly here because it's cool to look at. It's here because if I could have so one dope. jutsu as a ninja in the world of Naruto, it would be the multi-shadow clone jutsu. But if I could have a second jutsu in addition to that, my first pick would be the flying thunder god technique. And does this really need explaining? I know I said this for the last entry, but like I really mean it. This so jutsu lets you teleport to anywhere you've left a mark, like in the whole world. And when Minato left a mark on Obito's back, it didn't disappear for like 17 whole years right. even after he died it dope. does look kind of cool when used in some cases for example i think the time when toby rama teleported naruto to obito's back so he could slam him with a sage rasengan was pretty nice to look at as are yeah. all of those scenes where minato spams the jutsu rapid fire and teleports back and forth between a whole bunch of his kunai and oh, other man. markings plus so how dope. can you not love the only jutsu capable of countering kamui that isn't kamui really the only guy that really clapped obito about this jutsu and not a whole lot of bad another Charring on of his, you know? That was dope. Me and Toad. Now, I'd Got be him. genuinely surprised if I saw a video like this from any single person who actually liked this manga and this jutsu wasn't on it. Like, seriously, the Shadow Clone iconic. Jutsu is the jutsu. It's Classic. easily the most iconic ability in the whole series. And now, you could argue that that's not necessarily true and that the Rasengan is far more recognizable, but no. Uh, yeah, no, I agree definitely with you. the Shadow Clone yeah. Jutsu. Yeah. And I mean, Naruto wouldn't even have been able to perform the Rasengan in the first place without the Shadow Clone Jutsu. Exactly. Jutsu, so mm, seems like we got a winner right here but really, there's a whole lot to love about this jutsu plus i'm not just talking about the shadow clone jutsu i'm also talking about all of its variants like the wood clone jutsu although that technique may have actually come before this one the water clone jutsu sand clones all that sort of stuff but specifically the shadow clone jutsu because it's the most versatile like i said in the last entry as much as i would love to have flying thunder god i would definitely want to have this one more naruto was able to learn how to use the ross and shuriken in a minuscule amount of time thanks to being able to use thousands of shadow clones That's to so train all at once, which is one of the coolest convenient. uses of any jutsu like in the whole jutsu. There are plenty of other clones, really cool me, and you clone like jutsu that. moments too, Anything like you want. when Madara created it's wood awesome. clones and then had those wood clones use Susano, or like when Itachi created a shadow clone and then blew it up in the middle of a river. It took everybody by surprise, and I'm really shocked that he never did that again. The fact that it's possible to make exploding shadow clones is actually one of the reasons why this jutsu is so high up on the list. Come mm -hmm. on, Itachi, why did you, why did you ever that's like the coolest jutsu he has. But of course, I can't Facts. forget the good old-fashioned strength in numbers beatdowns that Naruto used to perform using this jutsu way back in oh, part I remember one, that. and <laughs> even on occasion in part two. Even as a child, he was able to create 2,000 shadow clones, which he used to beat the ever-living shit out of Gara. As with the Flying Thunder God, I just have a whole lot of good stuff to say about this ability, and nothing really bad. Number one, I'm actually curious. Oh, honorable mentions, okay. So Let's real see. quick before I move on to number one, honorable mentions. Just gonna go through these really quickly and give a brief explanation for why I like them so much. First off, Rasen Shuriken. It's this gigantic wind style dope, Rasengan formed in the shape of a shuriken that destroys its targets on a cellular level. It like is it. so powerful and so deadly that Tsunade told Kakashi, eh, you probably shouldn't let Naruto use that jutsu anymore, like ever. When it was first used, it also created an explosion large enough to consume the entire area housing the battle between Kakashi, Team Asuma, shit, Naruto, on and Kakuzu. On a cellular, on a over time, cellular level. The explosions level. created by it seemed to get smaller and smaller as Naruto became more proficient at using it. 
Kamui. Oh man, this is dope. It's just, it's Kamui. It's great. I was really tempted to put it on the list, but I don't like it quite as much as any of the Jutsu that are already there. But still, it's one of the reasons so why it's so much fun to watch Obito fight. And I've always personally really liked people with the ability to phase through matter. But Kamui serves as more than just an intangibility power. It also lets Obito suck people into his own pocket dimension, travel to and from said pocket dimension at will, summon objects and people from within it, and with his other eye, he can teleport things into this dimension from a distance. From pretty far away Dope. as well, as seen when Kakashi first used it in the battle against Daedara. Amaterasu. The inextinguishable black flames produced by the Mangekyo Sharingan of Itachi and Sasuke. It's black and it's fire and it looks really cool. Especially because it causes the user's eyes to bleed every time it's used. Well, at least no. until Sasuke acquires the eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, but you know. Rest. I mean... Oh, yeah. Sasori just pulls Sasori. 100 puppets. I really out like Sasori, man. He allegedly took out characters. an entire country. Wish you would have seen more of him, well. man. Absolutely on the anime. crazy. Gotta love it. So it's dope. super over the top and is easily Sasori's coolest jutsu. Yeah. Limbo. Another ability that almost made yeah, the top five, cool. but just wasn't able to squeeze in because I liked everything else that I already have on the list just a little more. Aside from Chibaku Tensei, this is my favorite Rinnegan ability. As it's really unique, it allows Madara to project clones of himself into the invisible world of yeah, Limbo. That's cool. I'm not really sure how, while they're in Limbo, they're able to interact with people who exist in the real world, but it's still a really cool ability. It's definitely broken, though, especially Facts. considering he could use it before he had the ability of the Sage of Six Pads, and no one without either Sage Mode or a Runagon could detect these clones. I mean, yeah, I GG, really man, don't, if you don't know have a Runagon or Sage Mode. Giving Madara an ability like this. Chidori. As a kid, this jutsu dazzled me. I thought the Raikiri and the Chidori it's fun were to say the too. coolest things ever. And I don't really think I need to explain myself. I'm pretty sure everybody likes these two jutsu. And now, moving on to number one. Let's see. Cheating. Don't you even tell me that a gigantic fucking lightning dragon isn't the coolest thing you've ever seen. How Sasuke managed to create this jutsu using the Chidori as a base is beyond me, but I don't care. That just makes it even more impressive. Like, what the f- When did he make this? Pretty cool. I just gotta say, I gotta point out, man, throughout the entire battle between Itachi and Sasuke, Itachi had this pretty glazed, unentertained look on his face. He didn't really look all that scared of any anything that Sasuke had pulled off up to that point. As soon as he pulled Kirin out, the look that crept up on Itachi's face was one of a man who just shot himself. And I don't blame him. The sounds it makes, the way it's created, the fact that it takes Pretty zero Pretty creative chakra, stuff by the Sasuke, man. blew up the whole Uchiha hideout. Very Itachi creative jutsu. said to Sasuke, look man, if I didn't have my Susano, you know, the one with the Yada mirror, the thing that reflects all physical attacks, yeah, I would have died. It's a shame we never got to see it again. Like, yeah. ever. Not even once in the manga, but Studio Peria decided to be amazing and allowed it to make a brief appearance in the animated version of Naruto vs. Sasuke in the Final Valley. And when that happened, I lost it, dude. Hmm. I could not contain my height. It was the craziest thing cool to see the Kirin come down like from the too. sky, bite Naruto's QB cloak before exploding and sending waves of water everywhere all over the place. God, man, this jutsu is great. I'm not really making much sense right now. I'm just rambling on and giggling hmm. like a child about it. So I think before this gets too out of hand, I'm just gonna end the. All right, those were the top five uh, Naruto jutsus. Personally, for Swag Kage, right? Um, pretty good list. I mean, Shadow out Clone Jutsu Man is on my top five, right? It's it's fucking classic. Um, if I had to choose, there's so many, man. I mean, like I'll be here all day, but on top of my head, Shadow Clone Jutsu is up there. I'm. This is not an order. Uh, Shadow Clone Jutsu. Uh, I really mess with Flying Rising, man. That shit is dope. Um, that has to be up there too. Minato's ability is so cool. Um, Night Guy, so dope. I mean, it's it, the only th downside is it kills you. All right, I mean, the only reason he survived is because Naruto uses six paths abilities to basically revive Night Guy. So I'll get it up there just because of how cool it is, despite the repercussions of it. Um. And then Tsukuyomi, because Itachi is my favorite character. That shit is so dope. He basically controls whatever you see and all that. It's pretty cool. And then um, what else is out there, man? There's so many. Oh, Particle Dismantulation Jutsu. I think that's what it's called. By, you know, the Tsuchikage. You know, like Onoki. I like that one a lot. It's dope. It literally destroys you on, you know, on a cellular level. 
like the rest of the shuriken but even more so i think but yeah guys that's my list um i really enjoyed the video so Kage always has the best naruto videos man um if you guys have any recommendations let me know in the comments it could be someone else that's similar to him like set the program or something like that um i do watch them as well and i'm trying you know to become more of a naruto connoisseur myself you know hopefully make some videos uh naruto but i uh, hope you guys enjoy this is jdv signing out i love you all and i'll catch you next one this is jdv signing out peace